All right. There we go. Let me drop this down a little bit. What's up, everybody? Leah Farmer 73 here. I do not want to be here long. I um everything that I wanted to do, I cannot do. Uh not tonight. Everything that I wanted to do, I wanted to do. I'm on the ones and twos like Big Rooster right now. I got two laptops going. I'm trying to keep track of. I'm on the ones and twos like Big Rooster. <laughs> so um listen, you guys, I can't do everything I wanted to do. So tonight is going to be instead of me showing you actual components. I can't show you components. Number one, it's going to take you take me too long. And number two, the product, the discount product codes have not came through yet for every item. And I do not want you purchasing stuff and not and spending the full price on it. So I have requested all of the discount codes. So they should be in this week. But we're going to be doing this step by step. I want to say hello to everybody in the room. Big shout out to Sunday Backyard Farmer, my brother. I just realized that you was on. That's why I, I was holding off. But yeah, my brother, man, that was some that was some good stuff. Everybody go check out Sunday Backyard Farmer here on YouTube. That's a brother of mine. Go check out his video he just released uh, literally two minutes ago. Okay, getting into it. My Renaissance Grandma, K. Sale, Sunday Backyard Farmer. Country Hustle 101, uh, Veronica Westbrook. Now, some of us are on Lead Tech, and some of us are on Lead Farm 73. Let me get over and see which is which here. I think I already got that. So, I think I'm connected to to uh, my lead farmer channel. I'm trying to watch both, so I can. I told you I'm on these. I'm on these turntables like a big rooster here. Okay, so I'm over here. I can see over there. I'm on Streamyard, and let me get back over here real quick, y'all. I'm sorry about this technical difficulties, y'all know. I ain't no good at it. Okay, we just gonna go from here. All right, <clears throat> let me get the camera out my face. Get that camera out my face. All right, I want to say what's up to everybody. GT Junior grows it. What's going on, my brother? What's up, Deborah Tibbs, uh, Valerie Harrison, Veronica Westbrook, Karen Mc McCaskill, McCaskill, I think it is. Sorry if I butchered it. J.K. Gardner. All right. Right out the gate, I'm going. I'm just going to get this going straight out the gate. All right, no, no messing around. I can't show you everything tonight, and for everybody to think that we're just going to be just jumping on top of all of this and just getting it over with in one video, and the video is two and three hours, not going to happen tonight. Tonight we are going to discuss, and once I'm done, I'm going to let everybody say their piece okay because there's some questions here and this is i think this is best that we talk about watts because somebody yesterday said the watts and the volts are mixing them up somebody else during a video i did yesterday a live said the watt hours versus the watts is mixing them up so that they're getting those two confused and they're getting volts and they're getting volts and amps mixed up. How many people have those same problems? Volts versus amps and watt hours versus watts. Because I'm going to break that down to the very last compound for you tonight. And I hope that you get it. I hope I have a bunch of people in here that's actual drivers. You have a car, you have a driver's license, or you used to drive, or you just plain old no the mechanics and the workings of an automobile because that's what we're going to be using to make this a little bit more easier for you okay 
I know it sounds like two entirely different things, but it's not. Actually, now it's an actual thing with the new electric cars. So how many people are here because you you don't you want solar, but you don't quite understand it? Raise your hand, type hand, smack yourself with your hand. <laughs> you don't quite understand solar. Because once you get it, you really want to understand it because understanding it at the base level, because that's where we stand on the base level. Once you understand solar, it's all going to just start making sense to you like, oh, this is why people be looking at me crazy. Once you understand that stuff, the simple stuff. Now, when we start dealing with fuses and breakers and all of that, that's on this level up here. We ain't there. We're not there. We stand right down here. You just moved out the hood, kind of. You know, you're on the outskirts of the hood. We're right there. Where crime kind of still happens every blue moon. You know, your car might get broken too. But you know, you feel safe walking your dog in the morning. That's where we at right there, okay? So this is how I'm going to put it. Before I get started, do I have any questions? This will be one hour for sure. We already in six minutes. This will be one hour, a pinch more or pinch less, one or the other. Okay, let me see. Ooh, those are dirty. Okay, NB Love says, got my next starter, add more panels, my new generator. We've been full home solar for the past two years. Okay, Odom, I know y'all been doing it, brother. I know y'all been doing it. Uh, put you on there. Hey, Tiffany. Thank you for that. I'm, I try, I try. Okay, let me see. I forgot I'm on StreamYard. I have 1,000 watt solar generator and two 100 watt Harbor Freight solar panels. Why can't I charge my solar generator using both of them? And what am I doing wrong? It could be a number of things. Number one, how much solar does your solar power generator say that it can bring in? I'm glad you asked that question because we're going to talk about that. How much power does your solar power generator says that it can bring into it? Just because you have a solar power generator that's a thousand watts does not necessarily mean you're going to be bringing in a thousand watts. You, it's going to have a cap that says you can only bring in, which we're going to talk about, amps and volts. It might say it can bring in X amount of amps, X amount of volts. Volts plus amps equals watts. So that's going to give you exactly what, what you're looking for. If you're putting in too many amps, either you might fry something if, if your uh, solar power generator doesn't have protection, or it won't accept it at all. It will just not accept it if you're putting in entirely too many amps into this generator. So we're going to talk about that. So it could be a number of things, but that's why we're here because we're going to sit and talk about it, okay? Be, stay here, Gregory, and uh, I'll probably bring you up later and we'll get right into that, okay? Let me see. How you doing, Rosemary? GT Junior Girls, yes, LST time. <laughs> lead standard time. <laughs> we're going to stay on. We ain't going lead standard time like you did the other day, brother. You was on my, you was all stepping all over my time. I said, look at him doing the LST. Kept saying he about to leave. Uh, let me see. I lost it once. You're off. I, I don't know what that was, Myra. How you doing though? Um, let me see. I'm I'm let me see. Okay. Valerie Harrison says have the equipment but not clear how to assemble the parts i'm in i'm in the basement with it we down here okay 
We're going to we gonna drudge through this together. That's why we're here. What would you purchase if you only had $1,000 budget emergency backup system only? Refrigerator, Wi-Fi router. I can't answer that. That's, I can't answer that because I don't, I'm not you. And you're asking what would I do? And it all depends on my situation. Whatever situation calls for, you just don't say, I got a $1,000 and I'm going to get as much stuff as I can get with $1,000. You don't do that. You see, it's that's why we're here tonight. I'm not going to go down the alley because that's why we're here tonight. We're build, building our own solar system perfectly made for you, not me. That's why. You won't have to ask that question after we're done, okay? Uh, let me see. Hey, Rosette. What batteries do you use? We're going to talk about that, but we're only moving one step at a time, okay? And before I announce the batteries that I have, I really want to be able to give everybody the discount codes for those batteries. J3GS Farms in the house. Hey, my Renaissance grandma. How you doing? It's good to see you in here. Miss Shirley OG, gardener in the house. You've been on everybody's channel. I've been clicking around. I said, there go Miss Shirley. I had to check and see who channel I was on. Miss hey, Shirley. Oh, Lady Liz said, hey, Miss Shirley. Say it again so she can you. Hey, Miss Shirley OG Gardner. You hear? <laughs> she was like, <laughs> she's been on everybody's channel. I click on Big Rooster, there go Miss Shirley. I click on Miss T with the T, there go Miss Shirley. I'm like, who channel am I on? So she gets, she gets around like Tupac. <laughs> Climbing with the underground. Okay, let me see. Uh, hey, Cherry, how you doing? Uh, Mary says, it's my first time too. Okay. Patient Saint, I'm glad you mentioned that you can't leave certain panels outside for extended periods of time working on that four pack. Right. If you guys purchase the fold up mobile, mobile fold up solar panels, that's exactly what they're for. You should not be leaving those. I know they're durable. And trust me, I've left them out for a year. You don't see those blue eddy panels too much anymore, do you? It ain't just because I got a lot of panels. It's because don't leave those out, those fold-up panels. Don't do it. You, you will feel bad. You just spent all that money. I paid for those panels. So my pocket is crying. Okay. Let me keep going. Let me, let me get on down here because I'm way behind. Okay. Say I have uh that says I have a 3500 watt pure sign inverter. How many solar panels can I connect to this? You have to. This is the question that this is the reason we're here. What does your instruction say? Because just because you have a 35 watt pure sign inverter, it has a limitation of how many input watts or how many amps how many volts that it can take in. You have to read those instructions to see that. I wouldn't be able to tell you, you having 3,500 watts does not give me any, um, any idea of your input watts. Your pure, wave, pure sine wave inverter has a, a probably a peak of 3,500 watts and it's probably can, can run constantly at a probably 3,000 watts or 2,500 watts or so. But that says nothing on how many solar panels that you can put into it. And before that, before you go putting solar panels and hooking solar panels up to a pure sine wave inverter, you need a, a charge controller, a solar charge controller. That's why we're here, okay? I'm glad we're asking these questions because this is the reason we're doing this right here, okay? Because people is burning some stuff up. And y'all spend good money on it. I don't want you to burn nothing up. Uh, hey, what's up, Trey? Says, so glad to hear this video, Mr. Led, as it was kind of different to set up the solar connection to my solar generator. Yes, yes. Knowing how to hook up a system, solar power generators is, you it's child's play once you know how to do this
Rosemary, you only have candles. Okay, don't burn your house down, okay? Uh, Stro Boogie says, what's good? What's a good solar starter kit that I can build upon using it for phone, small, deep freezer? That's why we're here. We're going to build a we're going to build a personalized kit that's just for you, not for me, for you. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna get on out of here. Hey, hey, uh B Rich, what's going on, brother? Hey, one bright light. Say, hope to learn a lot. I hope you do too. <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh T Treasure says, Hello, glad to be here in the basement with the solar setup too. Glad I made it tonight. Thank you for that. Thank you. Okay, somebody said, Thank you for that, Stephanie. Read your manual, everybody. Do not throw your manual out. I literally have a whole Rubbermaid bucket full of all of the manuals I have for all of my electronics. Babe, can you put a pause on that just for a second? I cut it. I cut it off when I, I cut it on when I'm done. Um, keep all of your manuals to all of your solar power generators and anything like that in one spot. Do not throw that out with the box. I don't need, I rarely even throw my box out. Please read your manuals. It tells you everything. You will understand, st understand your device much better if you read that manual. Okay, let's get right into this, okay? Because I'm, I'm going, I don't want to fall behind. And here we go. What's a, what's a good whole house system that can handle 3,000 3, kilowatts um, or three kilowatts, I'm sure you talk about. I know absolutely nothing about solar. Okay, well, that's why we're here, okay? Learning to grow my own in the house. What's going on, brother? So I ordered the solar panels you suggested the other day and I'm waiting for them to be delivered. Oh, congratulations. And I'm gonna tell you this, you can't have enough panels. I'm telling everybody, you just can't have enough panels, especially during the winter months. They just don't collect as much solar uh, power as in the summer months, spring and summer months. All right. Hey, Led, it says 18 volt, third, 18 volt to 30 volt input. That's the uh, solar charge input for my thousand watt solar panel. OK, now what's the amps? Your amps, your 18 to 30 volts is maxing out at 30 volts. So look at your, let me see. Solar power generator, watch, bring it to. So look at your solar power generator and see how many volts that it can accept. Okay. Yeah, you, what? Yeah, look at the back of your, look at the manual on your solar power generator and see how many volts that it can bring in too, okay? How many amps, how many volts? Volts plus amps equals watts. Okay, let's get it going. I'm going to, I'm going to show y'all this because this is important to all of us. I'm going to bring this around. It's good to see you be rich. I'm going to swing this around because we're going to do a little, a little art show. OK, this is I hope this helps everybody. I, I'm still watching y'all. I'm still with you. OK. But I hope this helps. OK, can y'all see me OK? I hope y'all can see me. Give me a thumbs up if y'all can see me. Okay. Can you hear me okay? Okay. Let's, let's play. All right. I'm going to give you the basis of how this works. I'm going to make this as simple as I possibly can. We're going, this is like the happy painter. OK, if you have every thank you, everybody, for letting me know you can hear and see me. OK, I'm going to make this as simple as possible. So. 
This is how this works. We're going to literally start. Uh, let's try this. We're going to start with the sun. I told you we started from the bottom. Okay. We're going to start with the sun, y'all. I know this is childish, but this is the only way I know how to do stuff. Y'all know I'm kind of childish. Okay, that's the sun. Stick with me. We have to start here, all right? If we don't start here, you won't know what you're doing. Okay, matter of fact, if you got some, if you need to get some pencil and paper, if you need to grab some paper and pencil, I suggest you do that right now. I'll give you one, about one minute to get some pencil and paper. So, no, nah, you don't need no pencil and paper. You can just go back at this video, right? Okay. All right. So it starts with the sun. Everything starts there. The first thing that I would purchase is a solar panel. Let me see. I don't want to be in the way. Get that out of there. I'm going to start with my solar panels. That's what I will start with. Okay. Then, from there, Your solar panel is going to go into a solar charge controller. We're going to call it a SCC. All right, y'all can see that okay? Now comes your pure sine wave inverter or inverter, depending on what you want to do, okay? Now, okay. All right, that's your inverter right there. Do I got any questions so far? Everybody want to know how we're going to hook this up. <clears throat> now, we got our house. Make a nice little cute little modest house. I don't want to make no big Rick Ross mansion. We got a wood burner stove in it. Okay. A little smoke coming out. You know they practicing their preps. No, that does not mean their house is on fire. That's their chimney. So, and we have our, let's say, a lamp. Simple lamp. This isn't a... Uh, I forget the name of that, that one company used to make lamps. This is the kind of lamp you make in wood shop for your mama in high school. Just a lamp. Any questions so far? How do you know what size solar charger controller is needed? I, we're going to get to that. Um, because that's a good question. And I'm going to answer that. You need to know what size solar charge controller that you're going to need. I suggest, I suggest you get the biggest one that you possibly can so you don't keep buying little ones. I've done that. I got a bunch of little ones that's just not enough. 
and no matter what, you got to run everything through parallel. That that's a whole other ball game. I would get the biggest one I can, or get something that makes a little bit that gives you a little playroom. We're gonna get into that. <clears throat> Thank you, resilient dad. Thank you, my brother. It's good to see you in here. I'm on StreamYard today. I can throw you up. Resilient dad in the house. All right, y'all. So this is how I'm going to do this. Now, from the solar panels, we're going to talk about each one of these components. All right, we're going to start at the solar panels. What is your solar panel for? What is the watts for? What is, what is all, any of this for, right? Your solar panels and this sun. This sun is the gas station. That's the gas station right there. That's what the sun is. That's where all the fuel is. Okay? That's all the fuel. So you need to put the fuel in your car down here. This holds the fuel. The solar panels collect the fuel. Solar panels collect, co collect the fuel, okay? Now, here's your solar charge controller. So once we got the fuel, this is the pump. It's pumping the fuel into the solar panel. This is your pump, pumping it into your car. So we're going to pump that into the solar charge controller. What is the solar charge controller, y'all? Anybody, any, any, any uh, answers? Okay, we collect the fuel from the sun into the solar panel. The solar panel is like the pump that's pumping it into your car. It's collected by the solar charge controller. Now, what this does is see, this controls how much fuel. I, you know what? My bad, y'all. My bad. I left something out. What am I doing? What am I doing? I left out the battery. Okay. This the battery. I don't know how I forgot that. Okay, an inverter. This controls how much fuel that you put in your fuel tank. Your battery is your fuel tank. That's what threw me off right there. Like, wait, where's all my juices going? Where are all my fuel going? Your battery is your fuel tank. This is where your energy, your fuel from the sun is stored. Any questions so far? Your battery stores all of the energy that has been collected from the solar panel. 
the solar charge controller regulates how much fuel goes in the gas tank. For instance, your solar charge con controller can either be a drinking straw or it can be a water hose or it can be a fire hose. Do y'all understand what I'm talking about? This is regulating how much power can come in and how much power can go out and it controls your fuel tank so your fuel tank does not get overfilled or it doesn't fill it too fast or it doesn't fill it too slow. Do y'all understand that at all? So the solar charge controller is a fuel regulator, correct? Your solar charge controller is a, a fuel regulator. That's like when you grab the, the gas tank hose, the hose, that big pipe, they be in your way and get that gas grease on your nice brand new jeans. That hose, that's the solar charge controller. Now, if you pull a, a gas hose down from the gas pump and it had a hose on it about as big as your pinky finger, you're going to be questioning like, this is going to take me forever. You get what I'm saying? If you pull a, a, a gas pump hose down and the hose is only that big, you know you're going to be standing at that gas station for about an hour trying to fill up your car, correct? Okay. Your solar charge controller regulates how much fuel goes in and how much fuel goes into your tank, which is the battery. Okay? Now, keep doing this crazy. Any questions so far? Uh, Cho so, uh, smile, smile. Hey, smile, smiles. How you doing? Said charge controller not needed if stored. Well, we yeah we we ain't gonna we ain't gonna do that one. We started from the bottom. Smile, smiles, and I know you on top of your game. I'm, I'm showing everybody like from the basement, basement. You want some? You want that solar charge controller for everybody that's new at this? They want that solar charge controller because I know they're you know most of us are not. Um, advanced in this game so far hey make this go viral how you doing my sister good to see you in the chat if everybody know how to want to know how to regulate and get around youtube go check out my sister over here make this go viral you know all the ins and outs of that algorithm all the ins and outs of that uh uh, uh, uh all of that stuff behind the scenes hey grown with Hudson, how you doing my sister Good to see you. I was I was in there watching y'all last night. If I wasn't so sleepy, I would have came on in with y'all. What's up, intellectual barber? What's up, my brother? Said nothing but love to you, brother. Always look forward to your content. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Okay, let's get back into it now. Uh, smile, smile. Said right. This is a battery storage configuration. Correct. 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 I'm trying to keep it as as simple as possible. Smile, smiles. Okay, so yeah, uh, get a all-in-one inverter. No, no, we're not doing that. We're not trying to cut. We're not trying to cut. We're trying to teach the basics. So once we know the basics, then you start doing all of that, that stuff. And this is ground level, everybody. Let's get that straight. Ground level, bottom basement. This ain't all of the new Fandango. I can go there too. I got a couple of those. Y'all know I do. I don't want to talk about that stuff. I want to talk about the basement so we can all contribute and we can all put this together, together. All right, so let's get back into it. The sun is the gas. That's the fuel. The solar panels collect the fuel. The uh, solar power, con I mean, the solar charge controller regulates how much fuel goes in your car I mean, how much fuel comes into it and how much goes out to your, your gas tank, all right? Now, your inverter, this is where the power comes from. This is what you plug all your devices into, okay? Let's do this.
That's what you plug all your devices into, into the inverter, even your house. Because with the right size inverter, you can actually power your home. Let's give him a nice little window up top. You can power your home with the right size inverter. And if you have enough fuel in your battery storage tank to run a powerful inverter that can power your home, that if you do not have a giant storage facility, a giant gas tank, it, you can only run it so far, just like a car. If you got a giant um, Ford F-350 with the dual wheels on it, but you got a 10 gallon, you got a 10 gallon gas tank, how far down the road you think you're gonna get with that, right? That will work for a little uh, Kia Sorento. That'll work for a Kia Sorento, but that's not gonna work for a big old Dodge F-350. That takes a lot of juice to run that big giant vehicle. Your house is no different. So you need plenty of storage. Now, what is your inverter? Your inverter is actually the gas pedal. That's the motor of your car. That's the motor, that's the gas pedal. How much gas do you need to run to push that gas pedal? How, much, how hard do you need to push that motor? You need it to run a house, so you need a big inverter, something with some, some. you need a V8, okay? You need a big motor to run this big old house. That's how this works. This is your motor. This is your gas pedal right here, your, um, your inverter. Any questions so far? I'm trying to keep this as basic as possible. So now I'm going to do this again. Here's your fuel, which is the sun. The fuel is co collected through the solar panels. The solar charge controller regulates how much power from the panel goes in here and how much power comes out. Your battery is a storage tank of fuel. Your inverter is the motor and the gas pedal that drives whatever vehicle or object that you're running. Any questions so far? I'm looking for questions, hold on. Any questions so far, you guys? Let me see. I'm trying to keep it as basic as possible, but I know, um, like I got tripped up on the battery. I forgot to put the battery. Let me see. Smiles, I'll say, great picture diagram of basic components needed. I'm not even getting into fuses and breakers. I'm not even talking about that today. Exactly. I don't even want to start that yet. Until we grasp the understanding of when people say, how much, how many watts do I need for this? How many watts do I need for that? If you understand what I'm saying here, you will start understanding how relevant that question is, right? Thank you, Shushu. How many solar panels can I plug per controller? See, that question is irrelevant at this moment. We starting from the bottom, okay? It, you, if you just came into the room, I, I, um, do I have to use an inverter? You can use whatever you want. I'm telling you how I'm doing it. Y'all can use whatever you feel that the reason we're all here is because you want to know what I do. And I don't want to steer nobody wrong. Now, I want to get something else straight. If you do it the basic way that we're learning here, you can go and do whatever you want to do, whatever you want. Okay? I'm just showing you the basic way to do this. And after that, 
you could you could do whatever you want or you don't have to do this at all if you know what you're doing you can do anything you want to do but don't put it on me when it don't work or if you blow something up you burn something up you spark off some fire don't don't put that on me okay i'm only doing this to show you this is how i do it safely that's all i'm saying okay How many, how many would I need for a 3,000 watt inverter? What does your instruction say? How many amps can your inverter bring in? How many amps and how many volts can your inverter bring in? How is the inverter connected to the battery? That's what we're getting into next, connecting it, okay? I'm just trying to break down the, I'm simplifying the situation and the connection. Then we're going to connect it. Okay. How will you know when you need another battery to store more fuel? You will need to know how many batteries you need depending on how much energy that you use. Depending on how much energy you use. If you if you're only going to be using charging like cell phones, laptop computers, iPads, stuff like that, you know, 2000 watts, that, that's going to keep you cool. But if you're trying to power real stuff like lights, your, your lights over your grow light garden and, you know, heaters inside your home, you know, you need to be messing around in the 5000 watt range. So if you have 1,000 watt hours, which we're going to talk about that too. 1,000 watt hours. E hour is a, is a watt, right? One, I mean, 1,000 watt hours. And if you're pulling 100 watts, you know, you do the math on that. Divide 102, 1,000. You're going to be running that for like roughly 10 hours. You got to you got to know that part. And that's what we're working on. I didn't want to get ahead of us, okay? How you doing, Smitty? Say, so lead, should the inverter be the largest I can afford item? It depends. Your inverter is going to, your inverter is going to dictate what you can run on it. Meaning, I'm going to give a little advice. I would get the biggest inverter that you can purchase, that you can afford. Because if you have an inverter that can run 3,000 watts, 5,000 watts, that's what you can run. I mean, if you're trying to run like your stove and your microwave and high-powered equipment, you're going to be up in those inverters that are really going to cost you some money. OK, but if we're talking about safety and security, and you're trying to grid down safety situations, I would keep it around me. Two thousand, three thousand watts. OK, so I would say if that's what you're looking for, go for the biggest inverter you can get and the biggest solar charge controller you can get, because you can get a bunch of batteries. I'm going to stay on track, but we got to veer off for a minute. If you got a bunch of batteries, a gigantic swimming pool size gas tank, but you only filling it up with a garden hose. Think about that. You got a big old Olympic size swimming pool. That's your fuel, your fuel tank. But you're trying to fill it up with a garden hose. 
it's going to take months to fill up that Olympic size swimming pool. That's your garden hose right there. So you want to try to fill up your Olympic size swimming pool with a fireman's hose. So you want to make your solar charge controller huge so that can pump a lot of fuel into the battery. You want a lot of solar panels so they can collect as much fuel as this can suck up and push out into your swimming pool, okay? Let me see. Hold on, hold on. I might be behind. Let me see something. Right, somebody just said it, right. Go big if you don't want to keep buying stuff. But right now, if you're just experimenting and trying to get your feet wet in this game, you could probably, you could purchase all this stuff for around, I'm going to say about $300 just to have a little something, little power source running. Okay, no more questions. Let me go back and see if it was some more that I missed. So the battery is connected to the inverter, correct? We gonna get there. We getting there one step at a time, y'all. All right, we've been in here way too long. So let's get right back into this. Uh, let's get back into it. So this is how we're gonna hook this up. Your solar, your solar panel, y'all see that okay? Let me get this off here. Your solar panel is gonna have a positive and a negative. It's gonna have a black line and it's gonna have a red line, a positive and a negative. This is negative. This is going to have a positive. So you're going to bring your positive wire from your solar panel into the positive on your solar charge controller. You're going to bring your negative, you're going to bring your negative wire from your solar charge controller to your battery. You're going to bring your positive cable from your solar charge controller to your positive side of your battery. Now we ain't gonna, this is all parallel. We ain't gonna get into nothing else right now. We just talking parallel, okay? Now, we're going to hook our negative up to our, mm, damn, sorry. Don't listen to that right there. You be done popped your head off. Okay, we're going to connect the negative up to the negative on the inverter and the positive from the solar charge controller I'm sorry, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, don't listen to me don't listen to me right now. I'm tripping, y'all. You're going to bring the negative from your battery going to your solar, to your inverter. You're going to bring the positive from your battery to your inverter. So it's going to go this. 
The solar panel is number one. Solar charge controller, number two. Your battery is number three. Your inverter is number four. So you're going to bounce from your solar panel, solar charge controller, to your battery, to your inverter. We're not talking about fuses yet, which you're going to need. Once you start dealing with a lot of power, you need those fuses. You need those uh, shutoff switches and safety switches, okay? That, look, that looks like crap. But does anybody understand this configuration at all? Let me see. Okay. Okay. The reason why I wanted to talk about this first, because if you don't know this, the rest, every other component that we're about to start bringing out and showing won't make no sense to you. So right now, everybody in the, in the back of the class, go ahead and let me know. If you don't understand, tell it to me now. We can come back to the board and chalk it up and see what's, what, what's the problem. Okay? Any, any questions? I'm, I'm on here with y'all. I'm with you. What kind of battery do I need? We're going to talk about that. Right now, I need you to understand the configuration, okay? We're not getting into that yet. Whatever kind of battery that you're going to need, whether it's a LiPo, LifePo 4, that's completely up to you in your situation. But I don't want to jump ahead, okay? I don't, I don't want to jump ahead because that's far beyond anything we're doing right now. We're, this, we're literally going to go baby step to baby step together. Say, I'm following you. Can you recommend a solar charge controller brand inverter brand? I don't want to talk about that yet because I would like to save you some money and I don't, I'm going to show you what I'm using. And if I show you what I'm using, I know pretty much what you've done. So if you have a problem with it, I can help you correct it. If you if you go off and buy some other kind of brand, I don't know what you got going on. I don't. I may not know what's wrong because the way it, it you connect it may be different. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. Where can I purchase everything at one location? It depends on what you need. Sometimes you can't find everything at one location. Sometimes you just can't do it because some, some places may not have everything you're looking for. And to be honest with you, what I found, if you say you go to Say you go to Amazon for everything. I'm going to go and say it. Amazon ain't the best prices all the time. A lot of times. Matter of fact, I just purchased something today through Walmart. It ain't none of this stuff. But I just purchased something today through Walmart that was literally $75 cheaper than Amazon. I can't make that up. So to say where is a one-stop shop I could probably point you in that direction and you will probably lose thousands of dollars on the things that you pay attention to these items and study these items. Just don't just go off and buy them all. I, if I wanted to rob you blind, I would do that to you. But I don't want you to lose no money because building a solar system is about trying to save money in the first place. So please, please don't do that. Study these items once we go and just everybody, please don't rush this. This ain't going to be one of those ones. I do a quick video about a solar power generator and then I'm on to the next one. This ain't that. I want to build this. I truly want to build one together with you so we can all take baby steps so we can all get an understanding of how this all works. OK. And affordable.
<clears throat> um, so if you're in a condo, does this make sense to get? I, I, I wouldn't know your situation, but um, if you have a way to, this is also a way just to store power. You don't necessarily need the solar, the solar panels, but this is a good way to store power to have something to use in a grid down emergency situation. Cause it'll, it, you could plug it up to the wall, but if you needed to use the power, it's there for you, okay? So if you end up getting an inverter, I mean, let's, let's cut, I'm going too far, I'm going too far. Okay, let's see. Say, Leg, can you charge the battery while lighting the house and appliances up? That depends on what system you build. If you build a system that's powerful enough to run your entire house, then you can do anything. The thing about this that I'm trying to get everybody to understand is this is the thing that's good about building your own system. You can make it as big as you want to make it. You can make it as powerful as you want to make it. it. You can piece it together piece by piece by piece, but you can do it and make it do whatever you want it to do. That's the that's the only good thing about building a system to me. You lost me at the battery to the inverter. Okay, okay. Is nothing, is nothing, is nothing. Oh, I brought this and didn't bring it. It's nothing to it. You are literally, and I know this whole picture is rough. Give me two ticks. I'm gonna make this a little more, a little bit more pretty. I'm gonna leave that smile on our son's face though. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit more understandable. I mean, more clear if I put everything in a row. Okay, here's our solar panels. Here's our solar charge controller. Here is our battery. Here is our inverter. And here's our light bulb. Okay, again, all you're doing is running your negative to your negative on everything. Your negative to your negative on your battery from your solar charge controller. Your negative to your negative on your inverter. Hook all of that up first, okay? Hook up all of your negatives right now. Now, you're doing the exact same thing with your positive, your positive to your positive from your solar panel to your solar charge controller. Your positive to your positive from your solar charge controller to your battery. From your battery, from your battery, go to your positive on your positive on your inverter. It's that simple. All you're doing is running two wires, your negative to your negative on your inverter, your positive 
to your positive on your input. Okay. Does that look a little bit more? Does that make a little bit more sense? All you're doing is bouncing from this to this to this. That's all we doing. Does that make a little bit more sense? The on-screen question is blocking the drawing. Okay. I needed to leave the question up so everybody could see it. But this is the drawing. It's, it's no big deal. Okay. You're going from your solar panel, from the sun to the solar panel, to the solar charge controller, to the battery, to the inverter. Let, let me do this since, since everybody couldn't see. And let, let, I got a better way because I know what's throwing people off on here. I know what's throwing y'all off. My inverter is right here and crossing them lines and messing people's head up. I'm going to put the inverter up here. Okay. And then our plugs over here. So we can make that make a little bit more sense. All right. So I'm going to run my negative to the negative on the inverter. This. I mean, from the battery to the inverter. From the battery positive to the positive on the inverter. Straight up, just like that. Okay, does that make a little bit more sense? Uh, I was, okay. I was told you need a fuse before the inverter to protect it. Yes, and I've already said we're not talking about fuses right now. This is just the basic information of the hookup. We have not gotten into the fuse buses. We have not gotten into the breaker switches. We have not gotten into the nitty gritty of actually plugging this up. All we're doing right now is talking about the basics. We're just talking. We're not hooking up anything. So if anybody is at home, connecting their system together like this. Please don't do that. You will pop your head off. Because if you're bringing in too much power from your solar panel to your charge controller, from your batteries to your inverter, you need fuse blocks. You need fuses throughout this system. You need a fuse here. You need a fuse here. You need a fuse here. You need to make sure that everything, every time you connect a wire, no matter what, this, this is for safety, safety for your equipment, safety for yourself, and it's also um, being able to disconnect things easier. If you can just cut off the switch from here, you can disconnect this and put on a, a bigger solar charge controller. Disconnect it here, put on a bigger battery, so on and so forth. These are all safety measures that we're not talking about right now. This is just the basics because some people don't understand or don't get the basics of any of these components. Okay. Right. Thank you for that, uh, Homestead uh, Smitty. This is concept only. Exactly. This is We're only talking about the concept. We are not building anything yet and i'm glad we did this first because right now i see a lot of people jump in the gun and they'll be them pop their head off let me let me get y'all to understand something too um i want you I, I want you to please understand something 
when you mess with these solar panels, just because they're cute, I got one right here. Just because they're cute and everything, this will kill you. I'm just letting y'all know this ain't a game. This ain't a joke. This thing will blow your head off. If you out here doing this all willy-nilly and you ain't paying attention and you ain't reading your directions, I need you to understand that you, my friends, are working with pure electricity. If, if you're out there playing around with this, your hands is wet, gear wet, y'all here doing crazy stuff, you plugging stuff and you let things fall into, into the the MC40. This is like playing with these while the sun is out. It's like sticking a fork in the doggone plug socket in your house. If you have a 100 watt solar panel, if you have a 100 watt solar panel, you're playing with a hundred watts of electricity. See, one thing I always tell people, I don't like people playing with words, right? Play on words, play on words, get on my nerves. Let's get something straight. And I want you to, please, I want you to swallow this and give, let it give you a bellyache because I want you to remember for the rest of your life. Solar is here to stay. So I need you to understand this. Solar is electricity. And for some reason, people don't think the two have anything to do with each other. The word solar, when you hear solar, it sounds safe and cute. Solar. Say it to yourself. Say it out loud. Say, make your mouth move. Say, solar. Everybody. Solar. Sounds cute. It sounds beautiful. Solar. When you say electricity, Get a little bit more scared. Say electricity with your mouth. Don't say it in your mind. Make your mouth move. You heard me. Say electricity. electricity. What'd you say? Say it again. Electricity. electricity. She's singing the song electricity. You understand? The word electricity, when you think of electricity, the first thing you think is caution. Be careful. Uh, the electric chair. Lightning. Boom, burn, forest fires, roast. You think danger when you hear the word electricity. Why is it when we say solar, we feel safe all of a sudden? It's the same thing. It's solar generated electricity. I need you to say both of those. Solar electricity. Solar electricity. Same thing, okay? So that's why I don't want to play play around. It's cutting no corners and skipping stuff over uh, with any of this. It, with any of this. If you start saying these words to yourself, let me tell you something. What, what my mama used to do. She used to make me say stuff with my mouth. I'm going to tell you why she made me say stuff with my mouth. Because when you think certain stuff, it don't sound as bad. Like, for instance, say you're thinking about stealing a Snicker bar. When you're thinking about it, your mind be like, it's just a little piece of candy. <laughs> you, when you're in the store and you see a Snicker bar sitting there, you done bought $400 worth of groceries. So you kind of like, they ain't gonna miss a little Snicker bar. Go on, throw that Snicker bar in the bag. They ain't gonna miss no Snicker bar. Okay. You see what you just did in your brain, in your mind? Your mind just made it okay. It made the word theft, stealing, crime, it just pushed that all the way to the back of the room. You see how I did that? Now, when you open your mouth and say, say what you think you. Say what your mouth is thinking. Be like, I'm about to steal that Snicker bar. You feel uneasy 
because you know that sounded horrible. Did thank you, uh, travel with us. Thank you for that. <laughs> now, don't that sound horrible when you say it with your mouth, make your mouth move? I'm gonna steal that snicker bar. You sound disgusting, but as long as you say it in your mind, thank you, uh, travel with us for keeping us safe. You say when you say it with your mind, it sound okay. Just, I'm just taking a little snicker bar. I'm just gonna borrow the snicker bar. Say it out loud. Now, when you say solar, now say electricity. Really? No, I don't. She in there losing her mind. Every you come and tell them. I can't. They can't hear you. I'm not repeating that. Come and tell them. So I want y'all to when we when we talking about this. Let me see. Sorry, I only just joined before that question of, of mine. And thank you for this video and the warning buying components uh for a while. I've been buying components for a while, and not one shop or company has warned me of how dangerous it is. Thank you for that. Because I need everybody to understand that. Like everybody keeps asking me, you gonna hook solar panels to your roof? Absolutely not. No, I'm not for several reasons. One is dangerous. And two, if I need something done to my roof, they have to remove those panels. It's gonna cost you a buttload of money. So that's another subject we're gonna talk about later. Do I have any questions on the configuration and what each one of these components do? That's what we're talking about in this episode of Making Sense of Soul. <clears throat> Let's see. Hey, Smile Smile say, bro, uh, lead will show steps safely connect. It's, it's a must to use caution and fuses, disconnects and hookups. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right now, we're just talking about the configuration. When we start, when everybody starts getting their components, then we'll start talking about hooking it up safely. With the fuses, we're going to talk about, we're going to have a whole video on the fuses I'm going to use, the um, shutoff switches I'm going to use. We're going to talk about all of that. And everything, I want y'all to go step by step with me and we're going to build one together, okay? Right now, before I go, this is it. Does anybody have any questions at all about this solar configuration? <laughs> Only the configuration that we have set up. Texas, Texas Trina said, I'm ready for the next step. Good, that's good. Okay, Trey says, will it help me understand what's in the Blue Eddy chamber at the least? Everything we're talking about is your solar power generator. It's just, that's what makes solar power generators, the mobile solar power generators, ingenious because they made it mobile. They made it so you can pick these things up and walk away with them. So that's incredible in itself. Okay. Yes, Sherry. She said, yes, light bulb just went off. We'll be very careful. Please be careful. Thank you for that, Carlos X. I just had another question, too. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Myra McLean says, still lose. Lose your diagram battery to record. From... You want me to show from battery to inverter? Still lose it? Okay. Okay. I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna just hook this. I'm gonna get rid of 
one thing just just so I can so I can just show you because I know I crossed them up again for it. It's literally this is the battery. Do I hear that music? This is the battery. And this is the inverter. I'm, I was trying to make the battery look like a battery so you kind of understood what I was doing, but we just gonna do it like this. Solar charge controller goes in the negative on the battery. From the battery, the negative into the negative on the inverter. Okay, you killing me. <laughs> she ain't listening to I got the power to energize from the positive, from the Solar charge controller to the positive on the battery. Okay. From the positive on the battery to the positive on the inverter. It's literally that simple. Just imagine this is your battery. The positive. This is what I was trying to stay away from doing. It's literally this simple. Negative from the solar panel to the negative on the solar charge controller, to the negative on your battery, from the negative on your battery to the negative on your inverter. Okay. There we go. Okay. I hope that helped, Myra. Okay. Can you break down the role of each component? I've already done that earlier in the video, uh, Mr. Cam. Earlier in the video. See, I'm so psyched. This would be cool sharing with the family. Everybody should be everybody should be doing this. OK, everybody, if you wanted to learn it, I'm just showing you what I'm doing. You can do whatever you want. And I'm not a professional. I've been doing this and tinkering around for years. I'm not a professional. But I know what works. Can you put four panels in that? solar charge controller <clears throat> that's that's a question that that really doesn't it depends on what size solar i explained solar solar charge controller earlier it depends on how big your solar charge controller is it depends on how many watts and how many amps and volts that your solar panels are so you just can't say can i put four of them in there four of what imagine this Imagine this, family. When you when you give me a question like, how many solar panels do I need to power up my house? I want you to just understand how that sounds. The reason why we're doing this whole thing and taking baby steps, because you'll understand what that question sounds like. After you know how this works, you'll understand what that question sounds like. And this is what it sounds like. When you say, how many solar panels will it take to power up my whole house? Okay. This is what that sound like. How many groceries can I put in this grocery bag? Ask yourself that. How many groceries can you put in this grocery bag? If I gave you a grocery bag, how many groceries can you fit in? You don't know. Because you don't know what kind of groceries it is. If you went off and bought a big old box of ramen noodles, 
you know only one box of ramen noodles going to fit in there. If you bought a bunch of apples, you could probably fit about 50 apples in this grocery bag. If you bought M&Ms, you could put thousands of them in this grocery bag. That's what that sounds like to me. And, it, and it's, I can't answer it because it's so vague. And if, and if I do answer it or if you go to somebody and they actually answer that question, tell them they, they jamming one up in you because there's no way they'll know how to answer that question if you don't have specifics on how many watts are you running? How many kilowatts are you running? How many amps? How many volts? All of that is important and that's why we're here, okay? I'm trying to do it as bottom basement as I possibly can. Say so, uh, voltage drop amp, fantastic tool. Okay, thank you for that. Rose at Soil and CISA, as an electrical engineering student, you did a great job. I'm trying to, I'm trying to break this down bottom basement because i don't want nobody getting hurt now thank you for that uh, rosette my biggest thing is and i didn't want to say nothing about it but if you ain't been zapped by one of these panels for instance for instance let me thank you for that rosette let me show y'all something let me get this out here uh these wires these are mc4 connector wires these are mc4 connectors okay now if you if you mess this wire up if you got this laying out in the ground and say a rat been nibbling on this positive cable or you ran this cable over with your lawnmower. Or you chopped it with your weed whacker. This is like popping and doing the same thing to a live electrical wire out there in your yard. If you got a drop cable in your yard, you know not to run it over with a lawnmower. You know not to run it over with a weed whacker. This is what that is. This is a live electrical, like a drop cord. When you run your cable, when you run your cable out in your yard and you might have your solar panels maybe 10, 15, 20 feet away and your solar system is in here in the house or your solar power generator is in the house, you got to make sure those cables are always okay, always safe and secure. You don't go grabbing them all willy nilly because you will blow your head off. Y'all, you know when the holidays come around, y'all go and buy them, buy them fireworks and that bottle rocket pop off and everybody look up like this. Pew, 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 pew. That head off. It's no different. This stuff is live and I don't want nobody to get hurt. Um, A battery, you can buy solar panels, energy, aren't batteries Full when you buy them. A battery you can buy can solar. I don't understand your question. A battery you can buy whole solar panels energy aren't. Yeah. I don't understand your question or your comment or statement or uh say Leah, will you will you whiteboard the formula to watts? amps volts so i'm yeah i'm not going to do it today though that's just going too deep you see how many people are having problems with the, the basic configuration i don't want to move too fast i literally truly want to take baby steps so we all really get it i don't okay here you go family I'm, I'm going to let people come up right now because I, I I know I said I was going to try to keep this an hour, but look who just said it, me. Um, I'm going to let you come up 
if you want to, because I want to get I want to get something across. I just put my link up in the chat if you wanted to come up. And I want to say something right now. Um, if you're asking why I'm doing this, the reason I'm going so slow and the reason I'm taking these baby steps, and to a lot of you guys, this sounds ridiculous what I'm doing. It sounds ridiculous of how slow I'm going. I'm drawing on a chalkboard. This is why I'm not here for views on this video. I'm not here for attention on this video. I really want you to understand that's why I'm here. I really truly want you to get it. And I know I know how I learn. Some things in my life I need broken down to the very last compound for me to understand it. Ask my wife. I tell her in a heartbeat, wait a minute, hold on, wait, stop. And I say, what now? I say, what now? Now, wait, 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 wait. Before you tell me Darren hit James and James went and got a machete, tell me who the hell is Darren? Let's start there. Who is he? That's me. I need to understand every single aspect. When I don't understand what's going on, I need to understand who is Darren? Who is Darren's mama? Who did Darren mama have? Who was his daddy? I need to know who birthed this boy. I need to know everything about him before I knew he got in a fight with James. Then continue the story. I need the back story like Marvel movie. I need the back, the, uh, the origin story of some things in my life. And that's how I learned. African dreaming in the house. What's going on, brother, sister? And I'm hoping the way I learn will help you learn too. And some things in my life with complicated things, like electricity, I literally need them broken down like this. I always have done it this way, and it just helps me learn. When you start jumping too far ahead, you lose it. You will, you will forget about the solar charge controller. You will forget about the solar panel. You will just go and buy a battery and an inverter. You can do that, but then things start going awry, okay? Belinda, Belinda said, I learned the same way. Okay. Uh, Christian say, I love your baby steps. Wish most teachers took the time to make sure that all understood. Right. We're, we're, we're not in a, a, a paid class. We, I'm really here so we all get it. So we all understand. That's the only reason I'm here. Okay. Ghosty said they learn the same way. Okay, here's Smile Smiles coming on up. You ready? Come on up, my sister. Come on up. How you doing today? I'm doing just great. Oh, I'm up know. here in the Hold snow, on. and I got my backup powers, like a whole stand worth of them. And I understand why you are doing this in picture format. Yes. You, you, you might be echoing a little bit. Oh, that's right. Uh, your 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 volume might be up. Let me see. Let me let me. I'm losing power One too. Second. Hold on, y'all. I don't know what my power. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm losing power too. I'm gonna turn my volume down. Okay. I'm with you. There we go. Okay. Now I'm I'm with you. All right. Do this. Damn, I'm right all up in my nose. Hole. Okay. 
what we got? How we doing, Smile Smiles? We're doing great. Um, you know, we got all the power because I'm up north in a snowstorm, and I want to be ready in the smallest and the biggest. And I do understand why you're doing the picture for me. Right. And I just wanted to chime in because when people were asking about where does the ver inverter come in. So the inverter, I just wanted to answer that question in the chat. Wait a minute. And it is really important when you're going to the next step to give them about the watt versus amp and how um, some people may have a panel that is 100 watts, other people may have a 20 watt panel and some might have a 200 watt panel. And all of that, what I was saying was, if you have a component, each one of those components has a watt and that is why, and an amp is so mm -hmm. that controller may be a 30 amp, 40 amp, but I know you're not there yet. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to say, explain to them about watt divided by amp equal voltage, you know, that formula. Right. Because when they get ready to purchase, they keep asking the same question. Which one should I buy? It depends on your refrigerator or what you're trying to power because everybody's not powering the same thing. Some right. people may be powering something small. Other people may be trying to power their whole house. And those panels, like the lady was asking, can you show them hooking up four panels? That's four 100 watt panels. You got to understand the formula first. But right, you got to understand the formula. And the reason why I don't answer those questions is because you see what you just did? You assumed that she had 100 watt panels. She could have been talking about a 50 watt panel. Right. How many? Four 50 watt or four 400 watt or four 600 watt. See? Right. And if I would have told her, oh, you only need, you only need like four of them, she would have probably hooked up four 600 watt panels and blowed her head off. Right. That's and, why. I, right. I and that controller. Just, could be uh, 20 amp, 40 amp, 60 amp. So they need to understand that formula of what they have in the beginning, the solar panel, then has to come through that controller and that amperature has to be matching to go over into that battery to go into the inverter. Each one of those components has a wattage and that is important in your configuration, their configuration. And everybody who will be on looking at this will not, may not have the same power configuration for each component. I mean, for the beginning component, like the sun is first, right. and then it's the panel. And then right. they may have a, instead of a 100 watt panel, they may have one of those little backpacking 20 watt panels. Exactly. And see, honestly, all of the things that I was going, those basic components that I was, I just mentioned today from the solar panel to the solar charge controller, the inverter, the battery, all of that, this, I'm, I feel like I'm really in school now. Thank you, Henry, uh, Henry for that. Thank you. Thank you for this. All of those components is behind this board. I right. have the battery. I have the solar charge. I have several solar charge controllers several inverters to choose from but something told me don't show this stuff yet not only right. that i don't have the the codes for them but right. i don't want people to get ahead just start going buying stuff and they don't even know what they're doing because that and, defeats the purpose and i wanted to let the viewers know this configuration is not to hook up uh uh it is is the beginning with a battery if you have one of these power stations, you this is not that configuration because these have internal controllers and internal inverters on. That's why we right. have have the, this here, and right. we have the DC plug. Uh, where is it at? Right here. Right. So this is so when you have a panel 
you can always hook this right up to it as long as your input is whatever it is, because it's right. not may not be MC, it may not be MC, it may be one of these barrel plugs. So right. I just wanted the people to know that your configuration is for a battery, a battery, a basic 101. This is not right. to hook these up, but no. these are easier. Because once they understand the basics, they can easily hook these up. Right. And that's what I was talking about. What we're what we're talking about is building a system, a right. whole and the reason uh, the other day I did a live and the whole thing was people, a lot of people can't afford to just come out their pocket four thousand, right. two thousand dollars. But and one thing I wanted you to make also, they don't have to start with a hundred watt panel. They can mm. start with something they may have gotten from Harbor Freight that might be uh, 20 or 50 watt. And therefore, when they get ready to buy the uh, controller, it will be a smaller. And so so the smaller may be a little less on their pocket if they want to go right. ahead on and make a configuration with a, uh, a cheaper version of what the 100 one that you're going to be just showing. Right. right. Very true. Well, I got somebody back here. Okay. Smile. Thank you so much, my sister. Thank you. Uh, hope to see you soon. I'm going to bring up my brother. I'm, I'm here. stuck in the snow up here. I'm in the snow. That's okay. That's okay. Just be careful. Be safe up there. Stay warm. I will. All right. All right. Bye -bye. Thank you, my sister. Thank you. <laughs> my brother coming up to the stage Sunday. Backyard <laughs> farmer. What's, What's up, going brother? on? What's going yeah. on? Can you hear me? I can hear you perfect. Good, good, good. I'm enjoying this series, man. I done had so many, and I'm not going to try to jump ahead. I know you're trying to take the little steps. I done had so many different ideas, and a lot of this little stuff, you know, I done bought here and there to do stuff. Right. I just haven't had the time to put stuff together or to see it through or whatnot. So this is just another little fire up under me to go ahead and pull. I'm talking about new stuff. Ain't been open. You know how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've been I pulled out a bunch of stuff every time I find a sell on something over the last few years. I just been buying it and I got this stuff stacked up, stacked up. Then I saw a few more deals stacked up, stacked up. And then I had a couple of batteries sent to me. I said, I guess I better put this stuff together. Oh, yeah. But instead of me just putting it together, why don't we all put it together? So yeah. they'll see you can piece this stuff together like I've been doing over these years. That's why I got a couple of different inverters, a couple of different charge controllers, you know, mm -hmm. just piecing stuff to buy the wire here, buy the fuse there. Yeah, you know. and I think that's important. I think it's what you was talking about it being um oh hopefully y'all didn't hear that. No, <laughs> I didn't hear nothing, man. Uh oh, he had to dip out hey. for a minute. Hey. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I didn't hear. We ain't hearing nothing. Nah, that's the um the ring. But um, oh. yeah. So the um the solar power controller and mm -hmm. the uh, inverter. I think that's the key thing people need to know. That like, far as getting those items, you know, pretty good or pretty. I mean, if you first starting off, of course, you don't want to dump a lot of money in it. But if right. you get that good and you get the inverter good. You can add as many batteries as you want later. You don't have to worry about how many, what kind, and all that stuff. As your situation grows, you can always add and build to it if you already got those other key components, uh, right. you know, where they need to be. Right. So that'd be the least of your worries. That's what I was trying to say. Once those, once these components are settled, all your battery is is your your gas tank, your fuel storage. That's all that is. Whatever kind of battery you want to pick. Everybody kept saying, what kind of battery should I get? That's why I didn't want to answer that. It's because that's just your fuel storage. And once we start talking about different kinds of batteries, you'll understand exactly what you may need. For instance, everybody keep going for LiPo 4 batteries and LiPo batteries. They do not work well in the cold. I, I love them. Don't get me wrong. But if you live in a super cold climate, 
that uh, a lifepo battery or lifepo four battery, okay. it will discharge and run your. You see what been going on with them? Um, I ain't gonna say the name. The must cars. You seen the must cars stuck? For two, three days on the charger. Right. Oh, my wife, she was trying to say, hey, I was running my mouth. Come on. That, that's a, uh, hey, Dorsha. <laughs> hey, Lynn. Congratulations, Dorsha. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. Well, you congratulate I was watching me the other on. day. Congratulations, my sister. What you congratulating me on? What you announced the other day on your video, what you just achieved. You don't even oh, remember the whole video. You know what I'm saying? She don't remember what she, listen, she don't really even remember what she done said. Hey, I've been I've been doing some things. I, I see this. I see this. Congratulations. Uh oh, we got a couple. Uh I'm gonna bring us all into the mix. Y'all know I don't usually I, I I ain't gonna say his name. Usually I don't do this. But I got a couple folks I want to bring in here because I don't want to stay here all night. Yeah, and I'm gonna drop down because I gotta finish. Okay. I'm burnt some tater tots. Oh man, go <laughs> man, go get your tots, man. You you sound like uh uh uh. What's his name? Putting tater tots in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right man. man. Thank you, Sunday. I'll take Thank care. You, yes, sir. All right, coming to the stage, y'all. I gotta stop sounding like that because it sounds like cinnamon. Bring in cinnamon. Let me stop. Coming to the stage, y'all, my brother, y'all know him. He, I ain't going to say he new to the States, but he he uh, he ain't wet behind the ear. Mr. African Dreaming in the house. And uh, I can't hear you. You on, bro. <laughs> can, you, can you hear me now? Can I can hear now? you now. Okay, I said, what's going on, Unc? How you doing? What's going on, man? It's good to see you up in here. Good to see you, too. I just, I'm going to make this real quick because I know you've okay. been on for a little while. I just really want to say, uh, I've been since I've been in the live, I've been looking at a lot of questions. People been having some great questions, but yes. I hope y'all really understand why Led is taking the approach to this. He, he y'all, this is electricity. This oh, is wonderful. electricity, and it's not a game. It ain't nothing to play with. And a lot of the questions, I don't think people purposefully getting ahead of themselves, but he mm. really giving you a breakdown out of the most basic components that you need. To get started, don't worry about kilowatts, don't worry about excess wattage or this or that. You know, just understand what leads to what so you can have some lights in your house, right? In my opinion, and uh, just one more thing before I get off here I don't think people understand that, uh, uh as a content creator, even though you're giving a simple breakdown, uh, everything you say it can be scrutinized if it doesn't work out 100%. It's right, got to be perfect. It's got to be right. So, salute to you. Uh, shout out to you for just opening people's eyes to this, to this, now, you know, concept of, yeah. of self sufficiency. And and you know what? What you just said about the content creators, it, it don't matter whether your garden or it's about solar preparation. What's in your bug out bag? Everybody is going to have an opinion on what they think they could do better. For what you are missing, and it is right. what it is. I'm doing things my way, and everybody been watching me for years. And you see, my way does work. It, it may not be your way, but my way really works. So if right. you can just grasp that concept and then build off of it, just like in the garden, put the seed in the dirt, put the water on the dirt, you know, feed it, and then a flower come out. Whatever that's the basic basic. Now basic. when people start saying I use banana water, I use five eleven, I use dead squirrel skull. That was a shot at you. <laughs> <laughs> when they start how they fertilize it, now you often flying on your own, you know. But we always lose and don't give content creators the credit for that universal basic knowledge. Because of the way we want to do it or want to have done, and that's, that's right. kind of where things don't get fair, you know. Exactly, exactly. Uh, y'all in an advanced world where everybody got computers in their pocket, fundamentals. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's all right to just go back to fundamentals and the basics and build your 
play up from that because you were 100% right. And uh, that's all I want to say. Uh, man, shout out to Dorsha and uh, to uh, Sunday. It's good to see you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step back down in the chat. But keep okay, man. What you think. Thank, thank you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. All all right. Right. Jay from African Dreaming. And uh, Pieces of April, go check out his wife, Pieces of April, on her channel. I got one more friend of mine coming to the stage, which I was just watching this young lady cut up the other night. <laughs> she had it going on in the in the party house. Miss Thank you, thank you. Hudson. How you doing, sister? I just wanted to come up here and say how much I appreciate you because solar power is very intimidating. Yes. And for you to go through the basics... And the kicker is, is that you recording it on a live so people that don't understand it, we could go back from what we didn't understand and watch it again to, to get it right. Right. You know, that's the thing. It, it seemed complicated. And I'm, I'm just, I always like to do stuff on the way I learn. Things seem complicated. All kind of stuff in life seem complicated to me until I know definitions of right. certain things and certain words and certain components. When I was in nursing school, if anybody's gone to the hospital, when that doctor and that nurse is talking, they're talking another language. You don't understand nothing they're saying. When you go into a court of law, you do not understand what that lawyer is telling that judge. He might be speaking like, let's sink this sucker down the river. You don't know you like this. Right. You just go <laughs> to the microphone. You don't know, right? But once you learn the language and you learn the definitions of all of these phrases, it start making sense to you. Some ladies, they don't speak, you know, Certain Asian languages, but they end up going to them hair stores enough, you know, start right. putting stuff together, you know, like you talking about me, you right? Stuff together, you know, and that's kind of what this solar is. It's like once you get those words and start understanding the definitions of each and every component, it make it is fluent. You become fluent in the language of solar, and right? You know, but we I'm, I'm following you, so I thank you. I thank you. Thank you, Growing with Hudson. Everybody, please go check out my sister on her channel over there. She over there doing the doggone thing. She part of the greenhouse lounge community, the whole gardening community. Everybody, please go check her out and go give her some love, show her some love. All right. Thank you for thank coming you. up. Much love. Sister. Thank you. Much, much love here. All right now. Any other questions? Anybody, anybody. And then we're going to cut out. We're going to fade to black. Growing with Hudson was in the house with us, y'all. And we had Jay from African Dreaming. We had Sunday Backyard Farmer and his wife, Dorsha, in the house. Um, Thank you so much, Tracy. Thank you for that. Um, My wife is a, a educator. Well, she was an educator. And I don't know how she, I don't know how you teachers do it. I'm not even going to slide down that alley because I'll go off and I don't want to. All I know is as for educators, every teacher, every professor, every instructor, I'm going to say this before I end this live stream, for every teacher, even if you are a substitute teacher, even if you are a substitute on the bus driver to take the kids home, if you're the person that sits in the back of the school bus to watch the children while the school bus driver is driving, if you're the lunch lady, my hat's off to you because you are sent here from heaven to be able to tolerate the questions, not just the questions from people, the, not just being able to teach people, but to also have the patience to do it all day. See, I can cut this live stream off anytime I feel like it. A teacher, an educator, a professor, an instructor, they don't have that luxury. And on top of all of that, we pay them. There are teachers that are Walmart greeters. 
we pay them where some some teachers go to school, edu teachers, educators, instructors, professors, instructors, they go to school and they owe hundreds of thousands of dollars in student loans. And then they still got to turn around and be a Walmart greeter or work at Wendy's flipping fries to tell your children and these young adults how to be the best human being they can be out in our society. I, my hot hat's off to you. How the hell are the teachers, instructors, professors, the lowest paid people in America? Teachers should be the ones showing off their gold grills and they roly shining in the in the camera, in the video. Teachers, educators should be the ones pulling up in their Lambo. They should be the ones doing that. We we got things backwards. So I'm 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 giving props to my, my wife first and all educators across the world because every person learns different. And to be able to pick up on that is a gift. Every child, every person, every human being learns different. Me, myself, I didn't learn like the rest of the children. Other kids, they got it. They got it. Me, I was that kid in the class like with my hand up like, why did you put the four right there? And she would tell me, little lad, what difference do it make? Just write the four down and subtract it from the five. I understand that. But why didn't you put it on the left-hand side? Why? I don't understand that. I was that kid. I need to know everything of why you did that. Because if that's going to change the outcome of this answer, whether I put it on the left hand side, the right hand side, up or the bottom, I need to know everything. I don't like assuming things. I don't like it. I don't like it because assuming things, you get a different outcome every single time. Right. Somebody say I'm a visual learner. I'm a, I'm a visual audio, audio, visual touch smell i i am a person i like to be engulfed in the knowledge i just don't like being told the knowledge i need to see it i want to taste it feel it touch it you know i'm i'm that kid so i'm still that adult i don't like talking about things unless i i need to know what's behind the curtain before i get out on the stage okay so anyway, I don't want to keep you all no longer. I hope this helped you on our next one. We're going to start talking about fuses. And once we start talking about I'm talking about I'm sorry, we're going to start talking about watts, volts, amps. We're going to be talking about that and put all of this same stuff back together and each one of these components is going to make that much more sense from the solar panel to the solar charge controller to the battery to the power inverter. Once we know the amps, the volts, and the watts, it's all going to make that much more sense. And you're going to have way less questions. I promise you, you're going to have less questions on how many panels do I need to power my house. You're going to have less questions of how many batteries do I need for this system? Trust me, once you know volts, amps, watts, and watt hours, that's going to shut down all them questions. You're going to be able to answer that yourself. You won't need nobody to answer that for you. You are literally going to be able to answer that yourself. So that's the goal. After we move that forward, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you where to hook up fuses and safety measures. The next one is safety. And then we're going to actually pull out components. We're going to, I'm going to show you actual inverters, my inverters, my solar charge controller, my battery. Y'all have seen my solar panels. We're going to all get this together 
hook them to a board, drill them to a board and mount them on something. We're going to do this all the way until we can actually make this system work. You can plug it in and you're going, you at home, at your house, are going to be able to plug your system in and run your dog on blender, your microwave, charge your phone, everything. So that's where we are. And I hope you come along with us for the ride because that's the goal. This is not going to be a one day tutorial at all. All right. So please come back with me on the next solar power system build, build along we're going to do. Um, and I really, I have the patience. If you don't get it, ask the question. I don't want you messing around with this and don't you kind of know. I don't want you to kind of know. I want you to know. How many people right now before I leave kind of know what we talked about tonight? If you kind of know, I want, put it in the comments below after the video and then I'm going to answer them for you. If you like, I was just too scared to say something. I kind of know, but I put it in the comments. I'll answer it. And if I don't answer it, I'm sure Smile Smiles will be back in here. She'll help you answer it. And some of us will help you answer that question, okay? So put your, put your questions in the comment section below after the video and we'll make it all happen for you. We're, I'm not, nobody's here to brag. I'm better than you. You better than me. We're really here to do this together. We, we are putting a solar system together, together. Ain't nobody better than, even if you got more knowledge than the next person, please be a helping hand. Don't be a, a person looking down your nose at people that don't quite get it. Come in here to help me help them. Okay. So thank you guys for that. Lay up farmer 73. Everybody enjoy your Sunday night. I hope everybody don't got to work tomorrow. And if you do, don't work too hard. They owe you money. You don't owe them no money. Lay up farmer 73. I love y'all. Come back for our next one. Peace, love, and I'm out. Be safe. Stay warm. All right? Good night.